once again. My name is Karen and I'm the owner of Rustic River Home in Australia. I'm here to show you how easy it is to create with Iron Orchid Designs and Pentock products and today I'm making DIY coasters. I bought some plain white ceramic coasters um, and core coasters for the bottom at the hobby store. I have already painted the coasters with Fusion's babyry but when I chose the transfers I realized that the color will be too dark and the transfers will be hard to see so I'm repainting it with a lighter color um, with Fusion's Algonquin. I will speed up the recording once again to save some time and keep the video short. I'm applying two coats of the paint for full coverage and just painting the outside edge on the bottom because I will be applying the core coasters at the bottom anyway. Fusion has a built-in top coat and it is not necessary to add an additional sealer before applying the transfer. But if you're using a chalk paint however, it is best to apply a top coat to the paint so that the transfer can adhere properly. Once the paint is completely dry, I'm using four cute images I cut out earlier from the IOD Holly Glen transfer pad, which was a limited edition release um, to apply to the coasters. When I'm happy with the position, I'm using the transfer tool to rub the transfer onto the coaster, carefully working from one side to another, making sure it is all adhered properly. Once you have transferred the entire image, you can use the same backing sheet to burnish the image. I have now transferred all the images. I will be adding some pent out fine light crackle and it's very important to seal your transfer before adding this to protect your transfer from lifting. Once the top coat is completely dry, I'm applying a generous layer of the Pentouts Fine Line Crackle Component 1 with a clean dry brush. It is a white base, but don't worry, it will dry clear. This is completely dry now and I'm ready to apply component 2 with a different clean dry brush.
When it starts drying, you will notice fine cracking lines appear and that's exactly what you want. It won't be as prominent yet, but once I've added antique paste in the cracks, it will be. I'm adding Pentod's white antique paste. I'm not sure if I'm liking it, so with the next one I'm going to switch to the umber colour. Um, and I'm adding it with a brush and wiping back the excess product with a paper towel. I much prefer the umber colour, so I'm just covering the white paste with this colour. I sometimes find it easier to apply it with my finger. It seems like I can push it into the cracks more, so I'm adding some more at some places. It is now time to seal your entire project with Bent Out Solvent Base Clear Glossy Varnish. For the fine line crackle, solvent based varnish is essential. It has completely dried and I can now flip the coaster to attach the cork backing with glue. And there you go, an easy, simple, custom-made coaster to suit your decor. Thank you for watching and supporting my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And don't forget to hit the notification button to get notified when I have uploaded a new video. See you next time.